Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Yes, let's check out Ghana versus Uruguay. Which kind of lineup will the Black Stars of Ghana take into this game? In fact, this match is a do or die affair. In fact, this is a make or break and a must win for the Black Stars of Ghana on Friday, 2nd December. <sighs> well, Luis Suarez, we are coming for revenge. All the players know a Uruguay national team. And all you guys know that Ghana is coming for revenge. Yes, the players does not have to keep it in mind that they are going for revenge. It's just another game that we just need to go there and pick all the three points in order to qualify. Now, in this video, we are going to check out the possible best 11 that the Black Stars of Ghana will be using against Uruguay. I've already brought you a lot of possible 11s. The last one I brought you before our game against South Korea, you know that um, there was only about one change. I think one change, yes. Um, you can just see it on your screens. If you compare it to the starting lineup, it was only one change that came. So, per our reports, per what is going on on the grounds, these are the possible best 11s. So, in this video as well, we are going to give two possible 11s. So you tell me which one and different kind of formation, two different kind of formation, which one will suit our kind of game and also match the kind of game that Uruguay will bring into this game. Note that the Black Stars of Ghana, we have three points and Uruguay has one point. So for them, they see it as just a win. Ghana, if we get a draw, considering the results from South Korea and Portugal, we can qualify. But hey, we should go for the most important thing, that is the win. As yesterday, Senegal made Africa proud. We will also do the same on Friday. So quickly, let's jump into it. Before then, can you drop us a like after that? Please smash the subscribe button. Put on the bell for more updates on this channel. As we know already, Jordan Ayu surprised us in the last game that Ghana played. Um, some players also did very well. I brought you an update that Tariq will start, Jordan will start, and other players, Gideon Mensah and the others. They did quite well. Others too did not really do well in the game. But hey, the most important thing is we were able to get a three points. But the last 10 minutes, eh, it was just <laughs> my heart was in my mouth, I tell you guys. So let's jump into the first one. The first kind of formation that we will talk about here will be the usual one, or let me say the one that we went into against South Korea. I've been telling you, Coach Otoado either goes for the three-back or goes for the four-back. And if you are going for the three-back, I've been telling that one of the center-backs will be sacrificed. The three main one we know, the Salisu, Amati, and Jiku, one of them has to sit down for, um, you know, two to start. So if you are going in with the four-back system, I think um, in this game, we need to attack as well. We shouldn't go and sit back as we did against Portugal. So, we will need the service of a certain Tarek Lamte in the game. So, in the goalkeeping department, I think I don't have to mention again because we know Atizigi performed very well for the Black Stars of Ghana, especially in the game against South Korea. Making about four big saves to keep us in the game actually tells you that, yes, definitely he's going to get a note to start in post for the Black Stars of Ghana. So, Loris Atizigi will be in post for me. Then, with the four-back system, I think Tarek Lamte will be on the right side for me because this game, we also need to attack and also be cautious a little. Yes, Tarek, people may say that he did not have the best of game against South Korea. I think the first half was very decent, but I've been telling you, Tarek this season, he has not had a lot of playing minutes at Brighton Hove Albion. So because of that, I think his stamina is some way. So the second half, we saw that he was really, you know, tired, running forward and coming. So the coach needed to substitute him. And I think that is the best decision. We can start Tarek, then later we bring on Ali Diseidu or Denis Odori from Pong Professor in that particular position. So I will still maintain Tarek at the right back position because he can add bites going forward for the Black Stars of Ghana. Now with the left back position, I think um, Gideon Mensah was also decent against South Korea, yes, providing an assist, um, but one of the goals, I think the second goal, um, he should have done better, you know, the area door, but hey, I think it was all defensive blunder, considering two goals in three minutes was bad for us, and they were taken by storm. So, I will still maintain Gideon Mensah on the left back, yes, for the injury, people were asking me, he's back from injury, the injury wasn't that really serious, he said after the match that um, it wasn't a big injury, but he needed to, you know, stay aside so that he can be fit for the next game. So, yesterday, he did a recovery training, today, he is also going to train with the Black Stars of Ghana at the Aspar Zone Training Center. So, I will play Gideon as my left back in this particular one. Then, with the two center backs, I'm going to still maintain... Mohamed Salisu, fantastic on the day. Yes, he scored our first goal for us. He also has a lot of bites going forward. His passes, his penetrative passes and everything, you can never take it out from Mohamed Salisu. So, Salisu, he also sets record as the only Ghanaian defender to score in the World Cup and he has 
than Feyu was since joining the Black Stars of Ghana. So I'll play him as one of my centre backs. Then still maintain Daniel Amate. Amate was still partner him. Amate was very decent against South Korea as well. Just that one or two occasions himself and Salisu did not communicate well. So those crosses coming in. In fact, we need to deal with it because you are going to need the likes of Cavani, the likes of Nunez, and the likes of Luis Suarez, who are also very good in the area of duels. So Ghana, we should work on that. Now, with the midfield, as it is four back, then we are going to get a three-man midfield. With a three-man midfield. I think we still go for the two pivot of it. It's going to be one Thomas Te Pate. Pate has been decent, guys. I know people were actually talking, but right now I've been telling you we shouldn't expect Pate to go in for those um you know heavy tackles. No, 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 no. You know, and we need to manage him as well. He also needs to manage himself sometimes. So Salis will be doing a lot of those works. Then Pate will be giving those kind of passes. If you watch Pate alone in the game, you get to know the effects that he has on the team. So Pate, I think, was decent, but we still expect more from Pate going forward. So Pate will play as one of my DMs. Then I will add to Pate Salis Abdul Samed. Salis Abdul Samed. Since joining the Black Stars of Ghana, RC Lawrence player, he has been fantastic, guys. The last Last game I was watching him, I was just clapping. I said, This is the reason why some of us fought for the players, including the Black Stars of Ghana. Some of us, we really talked about him. If you are here with me, you, you get to understand. Yes, we really talked about him, always bringing stats, always talking about his performance. And since he joined the Black Stars of Ghana, my own, my his performance has been super. So I'll still go in with Salis Abdul Summit, two partner Thomas Tay Party. Then in front of them will be the captain for the Black Stars of Ghana. That is Andre. Did they Rami Morgana UPL? Yes. Um, he scored in the first game for our second game. He was also very effective in the game, even though sometimes um, approaching 50th, 60th, 70th minute there, you get to know that he will be gasping for air, telling you that yes, because of the age and also, you know, yes, his experience, he needs to be taken out for another player to come in and give us those energetic tackles and other stuff. So, for his experience and other stuff, I will still maintain the captain for the Black Stars of Ghana, Andre Dede Rami Morgan are you in it. Later on, I can bring on um, Danny Kofichre to also replace him in that position. Now, with the Afrons, wow, going in with the three Afrons, I think, I think, yes, we still need to maintain Jordan Ayu. Jordan Ayu on the left side has better communication with Gideon Manson. Jordan, one problem about him is he's very good, but he doesn't give us a lot of consistent performances. That is why Ghanaians have been criticizing him a lot. But Jordan, on his day, is a fantastic player. He will dribble, he will pass, he will assist, he will score on some days. So, we only hope and pray that Jordan will maintain that particular performance he puts up against South Korea, against Uruguay. But I won't be surprised if Coach Otoado decides to rest him because Otoado approach games depending on the opposition Then he also selects his players. He has said that selection is a big headache to him, so we should also understand him on that front. So, I will still maintain Jordan Ayu on the left side of attack for the Black Stars of Ghana. Then, on the right side of attack, we all know already, Kudus Mohamed scoring two goals, winning man of the match. In fact, he did fantastic on that day. So, I'll still maintain Kudus Mohamed on the right midfield or on the right side of attack for the Black Stars of Ghana. So, Kudus, yes, I'll maintain him. Two matches, two goals, one assist. Fantastic for him for the Black Stars of Ghana. Then, the man to lead the lines will still be Inyaki Williams to me. Yes, Inyaki, people have been talking about him. He doesn't score a lot. He doesn't do this. I've been telling you, he's not come to the national team. He's now settling in. Yes, um, yesterday I brought you an update that um, Asamojan spoke about him. He said, yes, we should have patience for him. The kind of runs, the kind of things he does on the pitch, tactically, it helps the team just that he's yet to score. But hey, he will find the net. The last match we saw him, you know, miss kick or he, <laughs> he actually missed the ball. Then Kudus saved him by burying that particular ball in the net. So we only hope and pray that Inyaki will get his rhythm. Hopefully, he scores against um, Uruguay in this particular fixture. So I think this will be the best 11 if we are going in with a 4 3 3 formation. We can be also a variation of a 4 2 3 1 against Uruguay. Now, with the second kind of formation, it's obviously going to be the 3 5 2 formation, which Coach Otoado can also deploy. But my problem is. When Otuado deployed this against, um, you know, Portugal, at a point in time, we did not see the attacking uh, face of this particular formation. This particular formation, if you are attacking, there must be a three-man back. If you are defending, then you get a five-man back. But we went to the game virtually with a 5-4-1, whether we were attacking or defending. That was actually worrying us and uh, made us concede before we fought 
for the equalizer and others. So I think if you're going with a three back, yes, you will have um, you know, so I don't I won't talk about their statistics, so let me just mention them. We have one um goalkeeper will be in post here statistically, then we are going to get Salisu Mohammed, we are going to get um Daniel Amate, then we are going to get um Jiku, Alexander Jiku Rada in the middle, then Amate will be on the right. Then on the right back position, I will go in with a player in the name of um, um Ali Dusedu. Ali Dusedu because in that position he will help defending a lot rather than attacking that is if you want to switch to that kind of formation so i'll still maintain ali to say do on the right now on the left i'll keep um a player in the name of Gideon mensa in there because defensively i think he has been doing better but Bob Rahman can also give a con uh, you know a contest in this particular front so um yes that is it then in my uh midfield i'm going to still maintain party salis then Andrew Dede, Rami Morgan, are you for the three midfielders to work for me? Then up front, so the three back, then the five. So the five midfield will be, um, you know, um, Tariq will be on the right, he will be drawing back. And um, Ali Dusedu, then Gideon will also be on the left, he will also be drawing back. Then Pate, Salis, and Andrea you. Then the front two is going to be Inyaki Williams and Kudus Mohammed. Yes, for them it can be for, uh, 1 1 so that whenever they are attacking, one will be behind the other. So, guys, I think these are the two kind of formation. Which one do you think will help the Black Stars of Ghana? The 4 4, the 4 3 3, or the 4 3 2 1, uh, 4 2 3 1? Which kind of them? Or are you opting for the 3 5 2 formation or the 3 5 1 1 formation? Let me know it in the comment section. Like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates on this channel. This was Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later. Subscribe to the channel and hit on the notification bell for more.